Hi guys, it's me, Sally. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. And um, I just wanted to come on real quick. This isn't going to be a long video. Um, I was going to do a teaching on the Ten Virgins in Matthew 25, but uh, after studying this morning, the Lord directed me in this direction. So I want to talk about what does Lazarus have to do with the rapture. So, um, first of all, the name Lazarus actually comes from the word Eleazar, which we know in the Old Testament is a type of the Holy Spirit. And I will leave a link in the description so you can go and read uh, the definition of the name. And it also um, means Elohim, which is, of course, the third person of the Trinity. So that's pretty wild. So, um, but the first verse um, that I wanted to point out to you is so John chapter 11, verse 25 and 26 is actually a verse about the the rapture resurrection listen to the wording of it and Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he may die he shall live those are the that's the dead in Christ and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die that's those of us who remain who are alive and remain will be caught up. That is the same as 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. So he calls Lazarus. He says, Lazarus, come out. So 2 Thessalonians Chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed. So I wanted to point that out to you. He calls the Holy Spirit to come out. This all ties together. Then I wanted to um, mention that the year 5784, which is the year that the Hebrews are in right now, and that actually means the year of the door. The open door. And I will leave a link in the description so you can go and, and um, discover this yourself. Do your own research and look into it. So, 5784. And they switch over to 5785 before Passover. And in John chapter 12... He, um, after he had risen Lazarus from the dead, John chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who was, had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. And there he had supper with um, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. So it was before Passover. And uh, also, Genesis chapter 12, Abraham was called out of his country, his pagan country, when he was 75 years old. And that's exactly how old that Israel is right now today. They will be turning 76 um, before Passover 
in 2024. So I wanted to point that out to you. Then that then their calendar turns to 5785. The other thing I wanted to bring you to is uh, Genesis chapter 24 real quick. This is when um, Abraham asked his um, oldest servant to go find a bride for his son Isaac. And it doesn't name him, but it's obvious that Abraham is a type of God the Father. Isaac is a type of Christ. Um, Abraham's servant is a type of the Holy Spirit. And Rebecca is a type of the bride of Christ. The story is absolutely, the type and shadows are absolutely phenomenal. It's incredible. He meets Rebecca by a well. And she's very kind to him. And she's a beautiful virgin. And that's exactly what God wants us to be. Um, he, he wants us to be a chaste virgin. Um, his beautiful bride. And um, he meets her by the well. Anyway, that reminds me also of John chapter 4 when Jesus met the Samaritan woman by the well. And she became born again as well. So that's pretty powerful. So anyway, I wanted to talk about verses 55 and 56 of Genesis chapter 24. And um, the brother of Rebecca and her mother said, Let the young woman stay with us a few days, at least ten. After that she may go. And he said to them, Do not hinder me, since the Lord has prospered my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. Wow. Wow. If that doesn't speak to you about the Holy Spirit, yeah. The Holy Spirit will be sent away. The Holy Spirit will come upon people, kind of like in the Old Testament during the tribulation, but it's going to be different than the time of Christ. I mean the church age is what I mean. It's going to be different where the Holy Spirit indwells us right now so anyway so then they her family asked Rebecca um, do you want to go with us man and she says I will go so she confessed it she says yes I will accept this proposal I want to go and be married to this man Rebecca, um, it says that then Rebecca and her maids arose and they rode on camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rebecca and departed. So there's a bride and the maids or the virgins. Sound familiar? So there's one bride. But yet there's the, the virgins that will be considered her maids. So I wanted to point that out to you. Also, we know that LEAs are um, also in that link I'm going to include in the description it mentions that it's the helper and we know that the Holy Spirit is our comforter our helper and that's also in John 14 through 16 it's all about the Holy Spirit you can go back and read that um, John chapter 10 Jesus refers to himself as the door over and over 
I am the door, I am the way, I am the gate. And four is the number of the door. And we are in five, seven, eight, four, which will end before Passover. It's quite incredible how this all ties together. Um, also, there's type and shadows with uh, Joshua, which would be Just go ahead and read um, chapters 2 and 3. Um, or before they cross over. And what they do, he circumcises them, which is also a type of us being refined. Right now, he's refining us to prepare us before we leave. I know a lot of people are going through some tough, severe trials. I know I am. And he is definitely re refining me and it's really, really hard. It's been really tough. But praise God, he's with us. He's our comforter. He's our helper and he will never leave us nor forsake us. He's going to carry us through no matter what. So, and then, you know, Elon Musk is already planning on doing his uh, transhumanism starting next year. So this is the days of Noah mm -hmm. because Satan doesn't want humans to be humans anymore. He wants to merge men with machines and that reminds me of Daniel 2 verse 43 about iron mixing with clay and they will not cleave together so Satan wants to make cyborgs you know eventually this snowball that's rolling down the hill has to crash. It just has to because this just can't keep going on like this. Um, prophecy has a shelf life. It really does. And um, we're coming to the end. I believe we are. But uh, yeah, when I when I found out that 5784 actually means the door, the opening of the door, I was like, wow. I think this is it. I do. I thought this a couple years ago, but I was wrong. But um, this is perfect timing. The year of the door. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share. And um, so with that, I will let you go so you can enjoy your weekend. And um, let's keep praying for each other. And I love you guys so much. I really do. And thank you for praying for me. And I'm praying for you. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you really need to get saved now. Because the rapture can happen at any day, any time. And you don't want to be left behind to go through the tribulation. All you have to do is cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell him that you're a sinner and that you need him to forgive you of your sin. And he will. Believe that he died, he was buried, and he rose again on the third day. And you will be saved. It's that simple. So with that, guys, I love you. And uh, God bless you. See you soon.